Good morning. Today I am going to demonstrate an experiment to determine the Young's modulus of a wooden beam. This can be done by two methods. One is uniform uh, bending of uh, beam. Another one is non-uniform bending beam method. Uh, today's experiment uh, is done by non-uniform bending method. So the aim of the experiment is to uh, determine the Young's modulus of this wooden beam by uh, non-uniform bending method. For that, what are the apparatus required? Let us uh, consider, this is the first one, this uh, meter scale is considered as a bar, it is taken and it has to be kept at some uh, height so that weight can be hung in it. For that we use two knife edges and uh, if the weight is this is a weight hanger if it is hung at the center or and weights are added what happened the beam bends a little Young's modulus is something related with elasticity of the material so this wooden, wooden beam slightly bends this is non-uniform bending method instead if you uh, hang the weight at the edges okay this is uniform bending beam when weight is hung at the edges the beam elevates when weight is hung at the center, the beam uh, undergoes some depression. Now, uh, this is the weight hanger we require and we can add some more uh, slotted weights. Okay, all these slotted weights we can add with that. Each slotted weight uh, is of 50 grams each. And this is traveling microscope. With this we are going to uh, measure what is the uh, quantity of depression this wooden beam undergoes when load is added. Stop. Ready. Then this wooden beam uh, thickness and breadth can be measured with the help of uh, uh, vernier caliper and screw punch. Stop. Let us see the formula required to calculate X modulus. The formula is y is equal to mgl cube by 4 bd cube y newton per meter square where this capital y is n's modulus in this formula we have two y one is capital y and the one is small y this capital y talks about n's modulus and small y is the depression due to the load added what are the terms present in it n is mass suspended so in each uh, uh, time we add 50 grams and second one g is acceleration due to gravity which has value 9.8 meter per second square and l is the distance between two knife edges b is breadth of the beam which can be calculated with the help of vernier caliper d is thickness of the beam which can be calculated with the help of screw punch small y is depression of the beam due to the load. So in this expression, this uh, capital L is 50 grams, G is 9.8, L is the distance between two knife edges. We can obviously look at the meter scale and we can say and BD can be calculated with the help of uh, uh, screw guard and vernier caliper and screw guard and we need to determine the small y first. So first part of the experiment we are going to see the determination of small y. For that a tabular column is kept we are drawn. Here in this tabular column uh, some load is added and the, for that particular load what is the position of travelling microscope is mentioned that uh, to measure that this, tape, uh, this part is there for loading. When load is removed the second part is there. We, we will do the calculation later. Let us see the experimental procedure to determine small y. For that, this wooden beam is kept on the knife edge. The condition is the two edges, the distance must be seen. So this is a one meter uh, scale. So I have kept it by leaving 20 centimeters uh, in, uh, in each side. Okay. So uh, the distance between two knife edges, which is 60 centimeters is taken, uh, which is length, L. And to measure the what is the depression the uh, beam undergoes when load is added, 
small object is fixed over it. It is a uh, small pin which is fixed on the uh, wooden beam in an upside down position. The head of the pin is attached here and pin tip is kept upward. When it is viewed through this tra traveling microscope, we can see the upward image like this. So the sharp part will be shown through this, which looks like a nail. Uh, to uh, uh, see that, let us hang the weight hanger at the middle. Now it is focused through this traveling microscope. It, through, at the center of the cross wire, it is adjusted. And we can see the center of the cross wire. The tip of the pin is shown. Now let us note down the main scale reading and various scale coincidence of the traveling microscope in the table. Let us consider this base weight. Weight hanger weight as W. And the main scale reading and various scale coincidence is noted. Then again we have to add another uh, slotted weight of 50, 50 grams in this. So now the total weight is W plus 50 grams. Because of this added weight what happened? This beam is coming down a little, uh, little down. It, it is getting depressed a little down. So we have to adjust to get the tip of the pin at the center of the cross wire. So to get it we have to adjust the traveling microscope. Now the position is gone. Now the traveling microscope's new position, main scale reading and variate coincidences noted. Again we have to add it. We have to add the 50 grams slotted weight here. So that another depression takes place. New position is noted down with the traveling microscope. Now the distances, uh, sorry, the new position is uh, noted in terms of main scale reading and vernier coincidence. Like that each case we have to add all the weights and let us see the black weight. Now the relevant main scale reading and vernier scale coincidence are noted here uh, for W. Every time weight is added we will note down the reading scale. So this is the part for loading. Load is added. Now step by step we can remove the loading and we can uh, write the readings from down to up in the tabular column. So let us see how we are removing the uh, load and we will take the uh, readings. So now after adding all the weights we have we will get uh, we have to note down the readings then remove the slotted weight one by one. Now add the uh, write the new position of the uh, traveling microscope in the tabular column. Again you remove that one slotted weight. The new position of uh, main scale reading and various scale coincidence are noted. Every case we have to do it and uh, uh, with, uh, with this, this experimental procedure over next let us see the uh, calculation part. Before that we have to do uh, B and determination of B and D values. For that, let us use this button in this. In this tabular column, loading and unloading will be uh, completed by doing the experiment. After that, if we observe for a particular uh, load, W, we have one uh, observed reading for loading and one observed reading for unloading. For that, we have to take mean value. Mean value of loading and unloading values. Like that for W plus 50, we have to calculate the mean value of loading and unlo unloading uh, observations. So this mean value column we are getting. After that, we have to find out the depression by calculating the difference between successive values in this column. For example, if we have 6 readings, we have to calculate the difference between successive values which gives us 5 values. The average of all these five values give mean y, which is the depression. So by this way, small y uh, depression is calculated. That's it. Also, we have to calculate the thickness and breadth of the beam. So to calculate the breadth of the beam, we use 
the vernier caliper when a vernier caliper has a main skin and vernier skin uh, before uh, starting the experiment we have to check for zero error and the corresponding zero correction has to be made least count of vernier caliper is 0 0.00 Next, let's see how to calculate the breadth and thickness of this wooden beam. For that, to measure the breadth of this wooden beam, vernier caliper is used. Vernier caliper has a main scale and a vernier scale. Before starting any experiment with vernier scale, vernier caliper or screw gauge, we have to check for zero error. If zero error is there, we have to identify and the corresponding zero correction has to be done. Like that for screw gauge also we have to do. So, uh, for vernier uh, caliper, let us identify zero error and then let us fix it in five different places. Five different places of uh, this wooden beam and main scale reading and vernier uh, coincidence are identified. Let me note down the readings here at one point. Again, I have to note down in different point. So, like that in five different places they are noted and we have to uh, record it in the table. In this way, the breadth, width of the scale is measured. Next, let us uh, see the thickness of this beam. To measure the thickness, screw gauge is used. So, here also zero error is noted and then it is fixed in five different places the wooden beam. Now it is noted down the main scale reading and vernier uh, coincidence are noted in one place and then in the same way in other place other point also it is noted. Continuously we have to keep in five different parts, five different places we have to fix it and we have to note down the screw gauge readings. Now let me tell you uh, it by showing in the table. Let us uh, go to the board. So to determine the thickness of the beam, we use the screw gauge in this fit scale reading is noted here, head scale coincidence is noted here. Uh, then um, observed reading is calculated by, uh, by with this formula pit scale reading plus head scale coincidence into least count. Least, least count of screw gauge is 0.01 millimeter. Then correct reading is uh, taken uh, by adding or uh, subtract added or subtracted by adding or subtracting the zero correction with the original reading. Sorry, observed reading. Determine the thickness of the to determine the thickness of the beam, uh, this table we use. Uh, we have to note down the pitch scale reading of five different positions here. Like the head scale, head scale coincidence is all, uh, are also noted in this uh, table. Then this observed reading is uh, done with the help of formula pitch scale reading plus head scale coincidence into least count. And this can be corrected by adding or subtracting. Depends on zero error, we have to make the correction so that we get correct reading. By this way we are uh, taking 5 different readings and we have to calculate the mean value of these 5 readings we get the uh, d value which is thickness. Next is breadth of the uh, beam. Breadth is calculated with the help of vernier caliper. Vernier caliper main scale readings are noted in, the, in, this, tape, in this column and vernier coincidences are noted here. And in the same way, observed reading is got may, uh, by main scale reading plus vernier coincidence into least count. Then it is corrected by adding or subtracting the zero correction. So we have to calculate the different corrected reading for uh, uh, five values. Average of all five values gives us B. So we will substitute this B value, D value. M 50 grams, G 9.8 and L is R case, it is 60 centimeter. Uh, substituting all this value and this Y from this table, we get capital Y Young's modulus with the unit Newton per meter square.